On a side note, did you guys catch this story? See, this is hilarious to me because these guys came up with this song that's AI-generated lyrics, blending the voices of The Weeknd and Drake, and basically created a hit song with it. And Universal gets all upset, which I find hysterical because they spent the last 30 years homogenizing the music industry. That's a fact. Destroying all the original tone. That's a fact. Facts, facts. Making a bunch of copycat artists and a ton of songs that sound exactly the same. These people did exactly what these record labels have been doing for 30 years, made a huge hit, and now they're upset. And then they have the gall afterwards to say, oh, this is going to hurt the artist in the end. As if you ever gave a shit about the artist to begin with, let alone art. Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support the brand, inspired by dreams, dot shop, preppy streetwear, dress outside of the box. Okay, today's episode, this is special, something crazy. I always wanted to bring you guys. The proof is always in the pudding. And today, I got the pudding. So I want to put you guys on to just how the industry and people like to, you know, turn it and switch it in different ways and tell you all sorts of things just to get you all the way around the block before you can get in that door. But what I did was I broke down different ways and found different clips of people that identify with the music and their funny ways, in other words. So you guys pay attention, listen, it's going to open your mind up to all the funny stuff that's been going on and still going on in the music industry and when it comes to the streams like i always told you guys they're gonna make excuses 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 but the truth is the game it's nasty let's get it this year the music industry is getting exposed okay from diddy now before we get into this this is actually a female trying to explain that she's an artist and she's trying to get her music and she does have the uplifting stuff and she does have the right vibes music but the industry is not looking for that particular uplifting music at this time to Drake and now even more stuff is uncovering and I just want y'all to know that y'all don't have to listen to these artists you can listen to independent artists there are so many independent artists including myself my name is Diamond Dage and I make music specifically about women empowerment and women's confidence and just self-expressing yourself and being your authentic self that's what my music is about I do rapping I sing there are other artists like me, independent artists, who we spend our own hard-earned money making music, creating music, because it's what we love to do, and we barely get any shares, barely get any listens, barely get any mentions. So if y'all don't want to support those big artists who are in Hollywood, who are touching kids and all this other stuff that they're doing out here, please support your independent artists, okay? Please support me if you can. Diamond Dage, look me up, follow me, listen to my music. I have... I, don't, I have so many songs out there to listen to you guys. Um, you don't have to support them. We need to start supporting ourselves and stop supporting the people at the top. We need to support across, not up. And I think that all this getting revealed is a good uh, start for us to start supporting across and not up because we need each other. We need each other more than anything. We need, we're going to support or give your energy to somebody for something. Let it be a neighbor. Let it be somebody across from you. But that's all I wanted to say. Please support your independent artists. Please support me, Diamond Dage. Look me up on Diamond Dage everywhere. And we finna get this. Revolution started. Blockout 2024 started. So let's get it. It's one of those things that like everyone in the industry knows is going on. Which is? Faking the streams. What? It's a real thing. The reality is the labels are spending money. You know, devil's advocate, they're treating it like a marketing expense. Pay attention. In a sense, it like almost it is. is. So you're going to spend real money to get fake streams that equate to real money. Mm. It's genius. So that's why they think it makes sense. Because mm. it's like, okay, the streams are fake, but the money's real. <laughs> So what do we care? Especially, they're not doing it with like up and coming artists who like you wouldn't believe it. What? That's why I was telling you guys when the battle was going on and you know, he's talking about him, he's talking about him and they're making money off of both of them. Crazy. You know, uh... they're doing it with people like 
where it's okay if you're it, let's say your song has 500 million streams right organically but let's say with fake streams now you're at 900 million what no one's gonna sit there and be like this nah, is more like a 500 perfect. million stream uh, song. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just gonna be like, this is a big song, makes sense, it has That's 900 sorry. million. That's honestly so smart. Yeah. It's genius. Yeah, they're not like, they're not doing it to the dude across the street <laughs> and giving him a billion streams. Mm. They're doing it to people who really can get yeah. half a billion. <laughs> but let's just pump it to get 900. Mm. Yeah. Now you're getting number one. It's genius. So today, I'm gonna talk about something that nobody is talking about on this app. I'm gonna expose the music industry. I started to cry. I don't know why. ...and show you how they're keeping independent artists down. <laughs> so we know artists for years have been using fake bot streams to blow up and fake their numbers to convince people that they are famous so then they can actually become famous. Most notably, OGZ, Pop Smoke, and Kid Boo have all been caught for this. And it's not just the up and coming artists too, it's actually very, very established, very, very famous artists too, like Kylie Jenner and Dr. Dre have reported huge numbers of fake Instagram followers. So all the big celebrities are doing this. <laughs> So now let's explain how they're getting away with this and you can't. So Sony, the entity, is worth $26 trillion. Now we go down the chain. Spotify is worth $21 billion. So let's make it clear, the major labels have a lot more money than Spotify. But if we look at the people that are distributing for the independent artists, they're worth about 200 million, have a lot less money than Spotify. It's genius. So think about it, if you're a major artist on one of these huge record labels, you have more money than Spotify does. So if Spotify takes your music down or screws you over in any way, you could file a massive lawsuit against that company. It's genius. And we went over the distribution for independent artists doesn't have a lot of money. Now let's talk about how much money the independent artists and independent labels have. They're pretty much broke. They have no money to fight a court case. So when Spotify decides to take down their music for artificial streams, Who's gonna say anything about it? You're just screwed. So to put it very simple, the major labels have way too much power over these streaming companies. They can pretty much boost their views as much as they want and who is going to stop them. It's really crazy to see what you can figure out when you just look at where the money goes. So I've said this before in other videos and I'll say it again. The music industry is so fake. I first learned this 11 years ago when I hired a promotions agent to promote our first album, Palm to Tear, and she wanted to completely rewrite our biography. Not so that it sounded better, but she wanted to rewrite the story because she thought the actual story was too boring. What? And I said, well, we're not going to do that. And she said, well, that's what everyone in the industry does. All these pop artists that you know and their backstories, that's all made up. Most of them are just rich kids with a boring story. You have to spice it up. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do it. So you really can't be surprised when these major label artists get caught lying to their fans because that's what the professionals are encouraging them to do. So some savvy TikTok researchers found out that the pop artist Gail had completely lied about how she wrote the song A, B, C, D, E, F, U. She pretended to write it on camera based on a comment that a fan had made. She'd really recorded it a long time ago. It was already slated for release. That comment was made by her promotions manager. <laughs> who had made a fake account. I mean, this sort of stuff happens in the music industry all the time. What? You mean to tell me that Taylor Swift was not some sort of small town nerd who was rejected by all the cool kids? Ariana Grande is the heiress to a huge fortune? What is happening? <laughs> Travis Scott faked all of his numbers with bots on SoundCloud to look popular and then get a record deal? <laughs> The Sex Pistols are an industry plant? 
created to sell angst to teenagers? What next? Are you going to tell me that Olivia Rodrigo's drama with that old boyfriend and his girlfriend was all created by Disney? It makes me wonder what happened here. No. No. And I gotta wonder, does constantly lying and pretending to be some character wear away at celebrities' souls? Like, do they eventually just break down and want to just be who they are? Do they even know who they are? What? It really seems like it's worth it to remain small time if it means holding on to your soul, holding on to your mental health, and just being who you are, but I mean, what do I know? They're rich, and I'm not. I just don't talk about it because I'm not on the label. I'm not a slave. I'm not wanting none of these slaves, so. That's a fact. Facts, facts. They don't talk about it. You're the biggest slave. Like, NBA's like one of the biggest slaves in the game. He's, That's a fact. Facts, facts. He's one of the biggest slaves to them. So they're gonna go crazy for boy, you feel me? They're gonna make sure all the fake, all this shit I see on YouTube is fake views, all the is fake, everything that I see on my dead grandmother. It's fake. That's a fact. Facts, facts. It's for a million views. It's four thousand dollars cash on gang on my dead grandmother. That's what these labels do. You. That's a fact. Facts, facts. You feel me? They kick that out. And they push that. They they helped it too because they pay like the radio two thousand every station. Every P people they pay like two thousand a pop. Get That's a fact. Facts, facts. They playing on things. So everything y'all listening to is just all altered. Altered means fake. That this was paid for so y'all minds can listen to this. I'm a real, but they can't get me with that. You feel me? I don't listen to. It's not like somebody can just drop an album and just do numbers. It's not that. It's not that. They planned out how they were going to get your attention. How the f did you just finish this album? Oh, I just finished this album. I might drop it Friday. Just finished the album tonight. It's Monday. You're going to drop the album Friday, but Tuesday, you dropped the trailer? It's genius. For the album? Dude, when'd you shoot this? Last night? Oh. These surprise albums are planned weeks and months in advance. You want it on Spotify, Apple Music. A you wave. have to register that, and it takes three weeks to register a record on one of those. That's a fact. Facts, facts. Especially if you want to be on the front page and on the featured page. Which means you have to have finished products, artwork, Fucking a video, you have to have, you have to have a rollout plan, and they won't put you on the featured page if you have acid. Congratulations! Look, all I got to say, I'm not telling, forcing you to believe anything. All I'm saying is, it's happening. Till next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe.